Hello everybody, welcome to Football Fancast. Thanks for making it. This week on the show, we're going to be talking about Luis Enrique, FIFA and England. Let's start with the Spaniard though. Barcelona won the treble this season, of course, so soon after the last one. Luis Enrique, the former Real Madrid man, won his first managerial honours since entering the managerial game in 2008. Crazy to think that only a few months ago, people at Barcelona were calling for his head. There were rumours that were flying around that Messi wanted to see the back of Mr Enrique as well and was unhappy with him. If these rumours are to be true, then perhaps Luis Enrique's greatest achievement this season wasn't winning the treble, but it was proving that the young, always an indomitable and fantastic Lionel Messi can once in a blue moon, albeit, be wrong. More and more disgrace continues to flow from FIFA House as the days and weeks go by, and I'm rather enjoying it, to be perfectly honest with you. The investigative journalist Andrew Jennings, who we largely have to thank for uncovering a lot of this stuff with FIFA, recently said about the organisation, quite fittingly, the scum have stolen the people's sports, the thieving, cynical bastards. I couldn't agree more, Andrew. FIFA clearly needs radical reform, but where is the help going to come from? Well, an unlikely candidate to uh, help us all out might be in the form of Diego Maradona, according to the great man himself. Maradona said, if I arrive, I'll clean them all up. Mm. This is the same Diego Maradona who owes the Italian government in the region of about £30 million in unpaid taxes. Perhaps old Diego needs to clean himself up a little bit to start with, although it would be hilarious to see the big Argentinian trying to sort out football. On Twitter, Barca staff has tweeted this photograph of the fireworks celebrations at the Camp Nou after another treble-winning season for Barcelona. For more of our tweets of the week, go to footballfancast.com and check out the video. This week, we saw 25 years since Italia 90, when England actually reached the semi-final of a World Cup. We also saw the release of the documentary film simply called Gascoigne, obviously focusing on one of the most talented players that England has ever produced. In stark contrast this week, we saw England travel to Dublin to play Ireland. Paul Scholes described it as a waste of an afternoon. Probably not for Paul, as he got paid for that one. But England were diabolical. Surely they were against Slovenia when it actually will matter, they'll be better. However, the trouble is when one's mind fast forwards to France next summer, one can be filled with a due sense of exhaustion and dread. But the memories that are conjured up from the aforementioned Italian Ainti and Paul Gascoigne still brings a flicker of hope to this England fan. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Go over to footballfancast.com for more videos, articles and all the latest opinions on the beautiful game. And we'll see you next time.